pretzels, rivets. Hey, what's those noises? Hey, are they good? You enjoying those? Oh, man. How about those Philly pretzels, huh? How are they? Are they good? Oh, man. Oh, I think you got a few of them in your mouth, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, let me tell you. I got a story for you about the Philly pretzel company. Let me tell you. Okay. I guess you like them, huh? Gracie, you enjoying those pretzels? Let me see. Are they good? Are they delicious? Huh? Yeah. All right. All right. We'll see you in a few. Okay, another fine delicacy enjoyed by us people from Philly, yo, New Jersey, the tri-state area, the pretzels, the cheese steaks. But listen, really, the purpose of this video blog today, I need your help. I need you to reach out to me at uh, uh, joe at joefermano.com or go to my website and tell me what you think. Here, here's the situation. Yesterday... Um, I was, as I do every morning, taking my walk and I was thinking about the video blog that I was going to do today and, and trying to put together some ideas. And as I normally do every Friday morning, I'll go to the local Philly pretzel place and pick up some pretzels for the employees in the office. And, uh, but today, I had a couple offices to go to, so I was going to pick up two different uh, boxes of pretzels, like you just saw the kids so much enjoying. And uh, those little nuggets, or I call them nuggets, are called rivets in that box. Now there's a large box like that and then there's a smaller box. The smaller box holds 20, the larger box that you just saw holds 60 rivets, okay? You with me? So I go there yesterday and I can tell right away when I, when I go in early in the morning um, there's the usual people that are there and uh, typically they're busy and doing things and there's usually one employee there who really goes out of her way and is nice to me but I noticed somebody new behind the counter kind of I don't know, wasn't making eye contact, wasn't talking much, and I guess, I don't know, maybe wanted to be there, maybe didn't. You know what I'm talking about, you customer service aficionados? But, um, so I didn't say anything, I just said, do you have enough nuggets to give me two boxes? And she said, mm-hmm. So she gave me the two boxes, and I could tell right away as I'm walking out. Now, I'm in a hurry, though, to get back home so I can get to the office, that they were late. They didn't feel right. It didn't feel like I got my 60 nuggets, if you know what I'm talking about. And I got home and I put them in the car and I opened them up and I counted like, I don't know, 20 or 25. I'm like, oh, I didn't get the 60. I got like, you know, people at the office are going to know. I got, I got ripped off. And I just, I thought about it. I said, ah, oh, you know. Then I got upstairs. I was getting ready to take my shower. And I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to embarrass her. But I'm going to hurry up. And on the way to the office, I'm going to go back there on the way in. I'm just going to tell her. Say, listen, I hope you know that, you know, you're supposed to put 60 in here. You only gave me 20, 25. And just so you know, for all the bit, I'm, you know, and I'm thinking about it. And I'm just, you know, you know how you get sometimes just a little thing. It's the pebble in your, the proverbial pedal, pebble in your stone that really sets you off. And I'm thinking... Man, I'm getting so upset about that, getting ripped off. And then I'm thinking, I don't know, is it really that I'm upset about? Is it other things? I don't know. And I'm starting to think. I said, well, I'll go there and I'll just tell her, you know, you, you got to count these right. And, you know, I guess the whole attitude thing. Then it starts. Then I start to think, well, you know, maybe she just started and maybe she's messed up a couple times. It's hard getting work today. I hate to get her in trouble or anything. Then I'm thinking, well... Maybe she's got kids and she was, because I can relate, she was up late last night, her and her husband or whatever. Or I'm thinking, oh, maybe she's a single mom and she was up all night with a baby and she's trying to support a family. You know, your head goes on and on and on because I know she's a new employee. And I'm thinking, oh, that's all I got to do is go in there and complain about that. Next thing you know, she loses her job. I'm like, oh, man. I just said, you know what? I'm not going to do it. You know, it's that whole, you know, is it displaced displaced anger? That, that whole take the high road thing. So I didn't do anything. I just decided to let it go, and it's not a big deal. Now, it, the, the irony of it, this morning when I went there, the nuggets that you just saw with the kids eating, I had to go there this morning now, totally, totally, totally different day. Totally, diff, totally different demeanor. I walk in, I could tell right away. He was one of the owners. He just, oh, holy, dropped everything. Hi, sir, good morning, how are you? You know, filled it up, filled it up probably more than the 60. And, uh, you know, have a good day, you too, and, and, and that was great, but what should I do? What would you have done? Would you have gone back and said, hey, you know, for future reference, you know, you didn't give me the right amount, you should have done it, you know, properly, especially since there was a little attitude there and she seemed like she didn't want to be there, 
Would you have just let it go? Would have taken the high road? You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. But uh, to me, sometimes it's nice to just say, you know, what do they say? Choose your fights, choose your battles. And you know, folks, we're the authors of our books. We're the artists of our paintings every day. So what's really important to get all jerked up and worked up about? And what is it? You know, because quite often we do. I see it in my business where people come in and quite often they get upset about something. I'm like, that has nothing to do with us. I can't take that personally. That's that displaced anger that we talk about. So, I don't know. It's all a wonderful world, isn't it? It's all about the pretzels. It's all about the Philly pretzels, yo. So anyway, if you can, Joe at JoeFermano.com. Or you can even comment on the YouTube page. Let me know what you think. Did I do the right thing by just letting it go? Or should I have said something? And my heart said, let it go. Take the peaceful route. Make it a great day. It's the only one you've got.